again today for another episode in the Caregiver Notebook How-To Series. We're talking about my new book, The Caregiver's Notebook, an organizational tool and support to help you care for others. This notebook was created for any kind of caregiver, whether you're caring for a new baby, a child with special needs, a spouse who is maybe going through some medical issues right now, or an aging parent, or even an adult child with special needs. This notebook was made to meet all of those different situations. Today we are talking about the insurance section of the caregiver's notebook. To some of us, insurance seems like a necessary evil, but in reality, the care our loved ones receive would be much poorer if we didn't have insurance. So this section is designed to help you keep track of insurance information so you can advocate more effectively with insurance companies on behalf of your loved one. If you already have a copy of the Caregiver's Notebook, you can just turn to the Insurance tab. And it begins uh, with actually with a um, devotional for me about just having found out about our son's medical condition and immediately wanting to check about insurance and how much relief I found when I realized that our son's insurance needs and medical needs were taken care of by our school's insurance policy. Uh, and then it goes into how to keep track of how to record insurance policy information. That's the first part of this section. And the second section is just an insurance log where if you need to make contact with different insurance companies, you can uh, write down and keep track of that information in case you need to refer to it later as you work your way through the red tape associated with some of the insurance things that you have to deal with. So the first section as I said, is just a place for the different insurance policies. There's several pages, and it just begins with pages like this, and each page has two boxes where you can record different insurance policies, starting with your primary health insurance, other health insurance you might have, um, and there's several extra boxes. Uh, it goes into... Um, so, so this could be your primary insurance through your employer. Maybe if both you and your spouse are insured, you could have both that information. If you have something through the uh, medical insurance marketplace that, that the government has set up through Obamacare, that could be listed there. If you get Medicare or Medicaid, if you get veterans compensation insurance, all of those things can be reported. There's also room for prescription health care plan if you're dealing with um, a senior citizen and they are eligible for that. There's a place for vision insurance if it's different from your medical in insurance, the same for dental. Uh, there's a place for disability insurance and long-term health care insurance if you're dealing with someone who may be in a nursing home. And then just some more boxes for other insurance in case I've missed anything. Once you get those filled out and all of the information that you should need for each of these uh, kinds of insurance should be on that little insurance card that you're given to put in your wallet. You should be able to find all of that. When I did my mom's book, that's where I was able to find everything. So once you get all that filled out, then you can just take a look at, hopefully you will never ever need this next section, but you might. This is the place to log calls that you make to the insurance company, which of course usually happens for one of two reasons. Either before you have something your, your loved one goes in for a medical procedure or hospitalization, you need to call to get pre-authorization. And so you can log all of that information in one of these boxes, putting in the date, the time, the name of the person you talk to, that person's extension, the company, their phone number, the purpose of the call, and the answer you received. So you can do that with pre-authorization, so you've got that all written down to tell your hospital or anyone else if your insurance calls back and questions that later on when they're reviewing claims. And that would be the second time that you might need to use this book, is for um, listing those uh, calls that you've made when your claim has been questioned or you think that you should have gotten more payment through the insurance, they've denied something and you think your loved one should have received payment, you can use these logs for that too. And that way you can keep track as you're going up through the different levels, you know, from the first person you talk to on the phone to their manager and so on and so forth. 
Um, so keep track of that and it's very important to keep good records on that because if you don't receive satisfaction, what you may need to do is say that, okay, I'm not satisfied with the answers I'm getting. I'm going to be contacting our state insurance office and every state has an advocacy department to help people within that state when they have insurance issues. And usually if you just tell the, whoever you're on the phone with that you're contacting that office, very often they will back down and they will give you the compensation because they don't want to deal with that governmental agency. And if you're wondering who your agent, how to get a hold of your agency, just go um, to the internet and do an internet search with the name of your state followed by uh, Insurance Advocacy Office, State Department of Insurance, whatever, and your state should pop up and you should be able to find who to out, find out who to contact there. So that's really it in the insurance section. It's just a matter of keeping track of the policies your loved one has and then being ready to advocate and review any claims that are denied or whatever. Now, I wasn't really thinking of this as a place to put, say, life insurance policies or anything like that, but you certainly could. It's your book. So if you want to record your loved one's license or life insurance policies there and all the contact information for those, feel free and any other kind of insurance that you want to record there. It's just kind of nice to have everything in one place. Well, that's it on the insurance front, and I hope that you never have to deal with the hassle of uh, disputing a claim. But if you do, just remember that uh, you can get through it you care about your loved one and if you record everything and keep track of it and just keep calm and firmly demanding to see whoever you know the superior is of the person you're talking to eventually you will make your point and you will get the help you need for your loved one so if you have any comments or ideas about how to better advocate with insurance companies or ideas of how to record information there's a comment box at the bottom of this plate of this page and you can just feel free to leave your comments and ideas there. Not only will they help me when it's time to revise and update the caregiver's notebook, but readers right now may get ideas about how to better support their loved one. Until we come together again for the next episode, I wish you a good caregiving journey and um, just, uh, I don't know, just the peace that comes with knowing you are doing good work and that you are making a difference in your loved one's life. See you again.